Okay, so we found a really, really cool uh, bicycle tour that we're gonna take. It's a sunset tour and it starts at four o'clock and it goes for about three hours. And here we are. Let me give you a quick rundown of this place. City tours. They do a lot of other stuff as well, but we're doing the sunset bike tour, okay? And this is Sophie right here, Hello. who who is who arranged it for us, and this is our tour guide Rosa. Hi. You can pull your mask down for a second to show everybody your beautiful face. <laughs> and this is how it all begins. We're waiting for four more people, so it'll be a total of six of us all together. I grabbed the black one right off the bat. Okay, so we're just waiting for the rest of the other four people to come. What? And then we're off. This might be two of them. Well, it's four o'clock. Right. Are these your two? Yep. And that's all. There's another two more and that's it. That's right. If they even show up. Hola. Hola, how are you? <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. John? Maria? Maria? Ivy. 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 Yeah? Ivy. My wife Jeannie. Hi. Wow. Nice to meet you. Go so. Are you okay being on video? You'll be on YouTube. Okay? Are you too famous? No, but you will. You <laughs> hate Thank you. Okay, turn around, everybody. <laughs> and off we go. We got to compete with a photo shoot. On the other side, we have the Museum of Religion of Panama. Okay? It's closed right now, but here in the Arco Chat, it was a little convent for that museum. Here we can see these are the famous Arco Chat. The Arco Chat was used in the colonial times for see something important and useful for us. That art, it means why they we have now the Panamanian canal because this art in other countries in Central America can't be but here in Panama yes because we have something special on our biodiversity the mangrove the mangrove of the key of everything because the mangrove absorbs the vibration and this thing so we don't have too many disasters here thanks to the mangrove and this art makes a sense for other people like Fernando herself for make it here up canal. Yep. Have minutes to you? Perfect.
I hope I mentioned this, but our tour guide's name is Rosa. We all did the hand signals. <laughs> It is beautiful. And you get the passing showers, just to let you know, you get these passing showers no different than in Florida, where they, ju they just come, you get a quick downpour, it's over. And yeah, you know, it does get a little bit of humidity afterwards, but it's all good. Better than shoveling snow. Again, just to remind you that this whole section is a protected section because of the White House. Uh, and the president who lives here. So it, it's a big police and military presence here, and it's very, very secure. Hola, amigo. Plaza or La Plaza de Francia and here in front of we have the obelisk of French people. What it means that the, on the top we can see a chicken. These chickens it represents the folk of French here in, in Panama. Why? Because the first man to came to Panama, Ferdinand de Lesset, tried to meet the Panama Canal before he do the Canal de Suez. And here we have the people who helped him to start the Panama Canal. And on the back, we have all the history of how they do for make the start the canal here. Okay? In that side, in the back, we have Las Bovedas. What it means, Las Bovedas? It was a kind of jail in the colonial time here in Panama. And we saw this building, the white one, is the Ministry of Culture of Panama. And in front of us, in that little one, is the embassy of French people here in Panama. And now can we go up the stairs and see other things. So can you tell us a little bit about that bridge we're seeing all the way? Yeah, that bridge is the American Bridge. The American Bridge is the first bridge that we have in Panama to connect all Panama because we was we, we was a, a pass through a, a river. This river connects the Pacific and the Atlantic Ocean. And we made it the first, the first one with the French people. And so, well, we used to use a ferry before that. Uh, and now we have this bridge, the first one. And the second one is called Centenario. And this hill that you see on that side is the Cerro Ancon Hill, the most high point in Panama City, just in the city. Got it. Okay, maybe we can go over here and check out this statue. We, here in front of us, we have the Pablo Rosemena statue. Pablo Rosemena was a man who came the first the, the second one president of Panama when we was a republic. Then when we started to independence us from Colombia, the last time that we independence, uh, he was the second man who rebuilt our republic as a free folk. I want to get everybody in.
We might be getting those electric scooters one of these days too. We got two more days here before we take you on the next adventure. We'll wait until you hear about that. Figured I'd bring up the, the rear and get a little, uh, video of our whole tour team. And now we're driving right by our hotel, which is right here on the left, Villa Palma. Too bad Joel didn't just run outside and uh, say hello. Wedding pics. A lot of, I'm starting to see that there's a lot of model shoots going on here in the old city. Thank you for your service. Okay, we're at our next stop. And the Plaza Bolivar is an important place because we have here a monument about Simon Bolivar. Simon Bolivar was the man who made the big Colombian. He unified the Venezuelan people, the Colombian people, and the Panamanian people as a one big country. It was called the big Colombian. In front of, uh, behind us, we have the uh, San Francisco Church. The San Francisco Church, it was a most of the beautiful churches that we have here. We have seven churches in this place, Padre Castro Antiguo. And you can think, why they have so many churches? Well, the Spaniard Congress, when they came to Panama, they are so Catholics, and they want to everyone profess the religion that they have. Okay? And behind us, we have a building. The big one back in the back, it was the first Hotel in Panama. It was called it the Hotel Colombia. Okay? This one. The Hotel Colombia was the first one in Panama. And Simon Bolivar maybe stayed here like two times. When he came to Panama, he wa uh, he likes to stay in that place. 
Did I ever tell you how graceful Jeannie is on a bicycle? <laughs> we love it. Hi. Okay, so you might remember us yesterday morning having breakfast right over here at, with Dylan and David. And there they are. Great place to eat. Hola, soldiers. My man! <laughs> Street life in old Panama City. Gracias, amigo. Well, we are in the Plaza Tomás Herrera. La Plaza Tomás Herrera, it was first a place who we used to play uh, toros. And then we made this plaza for this man. This man was a great general in when we was on the big Colombian. He uh, go to fight in the Ayacucho battle. And well, he was named a general in that battle. Now, well, we have here this important plaza about him. And something important and interesting about this statue and when you see all our statue with a horse, you see that leg. If the statue has one leg up, it means that the pe the, the person died uh, after the battle for the scars and the things. If the horse has the four legs on the, the, the statue, it means that the people the person died basically as an old uh, old man. Okay, and it has the two legs up, it means that he died on battle. Okay? That's an interesting thing when you see a statue who has a horse. That's good. You want to know how the people die, even if who doesn't know who was him. You just want to know how he died. And in that place, behind that statue, we have the American Trade Hotel. The first uh, building that we have restored uh, in Casco Viejo and the most expensive in Casco Viejo. Okay, behind us we have 
Casa Casco. Casa Casco is one of the most expensive restaurants here because in each floor they have a different restaurant and a rooftop. So there's a different theme of cuisine in each floor. Yeah. Very nice. In the middle they have a sushi bar. Okay. And well, we have here a little question about the Bagayacucho butter. Here we have the land and they name it a Tomás Herrera General. It looks like wood now, but it was the land that they, they uh, named the here in general. Okay. Thank you for your service. Hello, how are you? Very good, thank you. You know, interestingly, I see a lot of cats in this old city and not that many dogs, but a lot of cats. Come on, let's go. Pick up the bees. How's that? This is so cool. Did I tell you this only cost $20? <laughs> okay, we were here the, yesterday morning as well, but now we're gonna get the lowdown. Plaza or the Independent Plaza, how we call it. And now we are showing the biggest church in Casco Antiguo. It's called Nuestra Señora de la Asunción. Nuestra Señora de la Asunción is one of the biggest churches that we have on the Casco Viejo and the most old of, our, uh, of the Casco. And we was restored uh, ten, uh, three years ago for the GMD when the Papa Francisco came to Panama to make uh, this journey and now in that side on the left we have the municipal palace the municipal palace is a beautiful place that we use the mayor uses it for uh, the reunions the meetings and these things and in the other side we have the museum Inter uh, interoceanic museum of the panama canal the biggest one who has all the story about the panama canal the french people and all the the folks that came to Panama for do it. So that is the Panama Canal Museum. Yeah. I think it's currently closed because of pandemic, right? Yeah, but I think they if you talk, if you talk with those people, they are reopened now. Okay, great, great. And you see this beautiful yellow trees in that place? Yes. That tree that called Guayacan. And these are the first flowers of the tree. Yep. And now we have behind us the Central Hotel. Is the second one most expensive on Casco Viejo. Okay. It's got a steady cam right there. Okay. 
And again, I see an awful lot of cats in this city. They definitely outnumber the amount of dogs. Central Hotel Panama. I believe it might be the most expensive of all the hotels, is what she said. Anyway, onward. Subway, they got Subway. This is how we roll! So just be careful. Okay. Okay, I believe we're getting to the bike path or jogging path. Here we can see these little flowers. They are called bugambilias or in Panama we call it veraneras. And other people know things as uh, flor tinitaria. And we are in the Plaza Cincuentenario. It's a new one and it's part of the second part of the Cinta Costera. So we are going to go to the park. Absolutely beautiful. Got some kickboxers over here. Ultimate fighters. How is this? How beautiful is this?
just a gorgeous skyline. We have just left the old section and now we're going towards the city, as you can see. Just beautiful. It's a nice breeze out too that's cooling us all off. Police? MP5. Okay, our next stop. Well, we are on for flag view. The Panamanian flag has two meanings, okay? Starting both the colors and politicians' part. The red ones uh, means the politicians are from the free, uh, the, the big Colombia. And the blue one, it means the free people, the Panamanian people who want to be free. And we have the stars. The stars have a meaning. The red one, it means authority and loyalty. The blue one, it means purest and honestly. And the color white, it means peace. Okay? And that place, we have the Fisher Market. The Fisher Market is a very special place here because we have too many fishes here. We have Cabinata, langostinos and every other okay kind of fishes and we don't fish in here we go on the sea and we will start to see uh, to make a fishing okay and you see that they have sometimes a black flag it don't mean that they are pirates that's just as the flag for the chorrillo and the fisher market port okay and there's a a fishing market there where you can yeah. actually buy fish yeah, or buy sit fish. there and eat yeah you can Both? sit here or, or, or buy in your seat and eat the food that they do or you buy it by yourself i imagine you can't get it any fresher yeah or in the morning early in the morning you can uh, uh, have more and more and more fresh fishing right yep 
perfect. I can't wait to go over there and try it. Excellent yawn, right? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Are you guys traveling across uh, South America and Central America? We'll or? see. We'll see okay. how it how it unwinds. For how long? Are we still in Panama? Forever. Oh, I don't know. That that may, remains to be seen too. I have to catch him. Look at these beautiful flowers. in itself. Besides a tour, it's a workout. My thighs are starting to burn. Here comes the downhill. There's always a reward.
This is just incredible. The contrast between the old and the new. Amazing. The old with the new backdrop. Huh? The old what? Gotcha. All right, we're going to shut it down while everyone else catches up. Right? Everybody thought I was the old, old lady. They're all like I know, and you passed right by me. Call the gurney. Do you want me? You want us to put a gurney on the back and trail you? I thought we were done. Then.
fish head. That's what they're after. The, someone threw them a fish head. The pelican got the whole head. That's so funny. You know why? Because you drank some water. Drink a little more. I'll catch up. I'll buy another bottle from him. Okay. Don't I, I could use more. Gracias. Yes. I don't know. Jesus Christ. Oh. This way. We're all going. Of course. She's an idiot. Go ahead, follow her. Ready.
We can do that next time. <laughs> Use your blinker, then we'll know which way you're going. Okay. And so ends the riding part of our bike tour.